Oh, broke my hand there though. As you can see, not a fresh crack today. Cork's not even in it. Woodford Batch Proof 2024. Should you drink it or should you? You should. Not. Haven't had it yet. I'm just gonna say you should. Oh, dude. I assumed you were gonna pull it, like. I wasn't gonna do it. You hate happiness? What's going on here? All right, we're gonna do the most professional. <laughs> the F I am of all time. <laughs> okay, what's this whiskey. one? The only way to tell which ones these are actually. Woodford proof. batch proof. Uh, this is gonna be the 2024, the first one of the year. I don't know. They're doing all these ones with Costco now, and they're maybe two a year. Who knows what's going on? So the only way to tell. 121.2. Yep, that's the only way to tell. They're all 700 mils now. Some of these have been fantastic. They're like every other barrel proof product. Um, some of these have been really good. Some have been pretty good. The Costco one last year was really, really good. We thought the regular yeah. release last year was pretty lackluster. I think you're thinking 22. Was it? One of them was in the, the end of the year whiskey. Yes. And uh, it didn't do great. It was still top 10, I think. Someone can Seemingly the problem with these thus far has been that Woodford launched a batch proof product in theory competing with Sag Jr. and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in theory. Yeah, theirs is $140. But, well, they were $120 when they launched. And then everything, you know, just inflation, dude. Our, whatever, our country, government. I don't know who to blame. Somebody though, not us. Before we get to the rest of the video, I gotta talk to you today about how you can improve your life with a mattress which sounds crazy, but honestly, I swear to God, that's a real thing. I slept on mattresses in Vermont that were not my mattress. My life got actively worse. My hips hurt, truthfully. I'm an old man. But Helix Sleep is the sponsor of today's video. Helix Sleep, premium mattress company. They also make pillows. They also make blankets, weighted ones that are heavy, that actually make you feel like you're being snuggled by your mother's womb again. Helix Mattress will conveniently ship these mattresses directly to your door, which is awesome, with a 100-night free sleep trial. So if you don't like it, you can get it back. These things also got 10-year warranties on them. They also got incredible financing on them in case you don't want to pay up front for one. Just go to helixsleep.com slash bourbon junkies. Go over there and take the sleep quiz, and honestly, it'll lay out the correct mattress for you, you and a partner, you and your dog. I mean, your dog's not going to be in the sleep quiz part, but it, your dog will just like any mattress that you buy, truthfully because they're all great from here. So we used to go to like Art Van or something and lay on like 200 mattresses and nobody really knew what was going on. You just knew which one you liked the most the first time you laid on it. The thing is, is it takes like a week or two to get comfortable and into your mattress and feel like your mattress is normal. Feel like if you like it or if you don't like it. Usually after two weeks, you know. The mattress comes in a box to your front door with free shipping when you buy the mattress, by the way. Rolled up. You cut it open. Instructions are super easy. Do not cut the mattress. Cut the bag that it's in. And then you just let it inflate. You can sleep on it that night as long as you unwrap it like a couple hours before bedtime. Visit helixsleep.com slash bourbon junkies. Get yourself 20% off right off the top. Just take 20% off. Also, grab two free pillows. What I do is I double, I layer these pillows up and I sleep on them every night as well. So huge shout out to Helix. Love the mattresses. Love the pillows. And... We hope you do too. Fall. That smells like syrup. That smells great. Oh, I, uh, like a blackberry. Can Ooh. I tell you the one problem with these in the past has been that Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs. Some of those are really great. Yeah. Relatively pretty findable in the grand scheme. Yeah. Also 60-ish dollars. So two Jack Daniels single barrels for one of these, roughly. That same family, different distillery though. Yep, it is. Uh -oh. But Woodford, the, the brown form and profile has done a relatively Honestly, pretty damn good job at keeping prices not miserably high. That is like a great, sweet cream honestly. on like, it's syrup and blueberries and blackberries. Nicolas Jones helped us obtain this. Thank Thanks, you Nick. so much, buddy. Yeah, because it uh, is nowhere around us. Michigan gets everything about mm, four months late if yeah, we get it. That's true. That smells really great. <sighs> that That's the best nose on one of these in a long time, honestly. I, but, I get a little, um, like a lot of vanilla, like a dry stave out of there too. Okay. Like a little dry woodiness about it. Ton of vanilla on it. It almost has like a confectionery sugar vanilla, like a frosting, vanilla frosting note on it, which is interesting. Whoa! Not a ton of banana. Whoa! Oh, good woes or bad woes? I would think that's toasted. If I had that blind, I would completely just 
think that's a toasted product. There's a little banana in the back, a little bit. Smidge. But not a lot though. And it's not runty. It's very like ripe banana-y. Oh, it's very dry. Yeah, look at, look, look what it uh, used to be. Hold on. This was the coolest. Yeah, get the, get the dust off. Yeah, should we haven't opened this, drank this, touched this, felt this, seen this in years probably. 123.6 proof was the first one. Yeah, we gotta. In- Are you sure that's the first one? Did it say year or anything on it? No, but they only did one in these bottles and they changed the shape. I thought they did a couple. They changed the, to that, the hammer, the mallet. I thought they did a couple of these. Did they? Okay. Yeah. Leave a comment I, I, down below. Are we wrong? Is 1.3.6 proof the first one ever or? It might be, but I still think they did a, like three of these. Oh, okay. And then when they they changed the Master Collection bottle, they brought that over. Okay. what I'm thinking, but I've been wrong before. This so, still has the plastic neck tag thing around it, dude. That's why I love these, this glass shape, I love it. I'm sure it was a nightmare during uh, the Schmovid to deal with that glass shape, because everything was. And but that was one that we didn't like when we first opened it, I feel. That smells nice, huh? Oh my Okay, God. hold on, let's leave this alone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna move that Set this aside we will for come one back moment. to it. We're gonna do that in a minute. Let's do this for just just a little bit. I feel so Ooh, toasted. It's almost barbecue-y. It's like very, 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 you could convince me this is in a very heavy char barrel. Mm -hmm. Like almost alligator-esque, 1910-esque. Oh, yeah. Like. I agree. And it drinks that way too. With the, you're talking with the dryingness part yeah, of the drying? Yeah, I think that's coming from how aggressive the barrel char is. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It is very aggressive though. It's not very sweet, honestly. It is. It has a very dark profile, a dark sweetness like Elijah Craig. Yeah. More coffee. It is. Um, very like, almost Bale like char. a medium dark roast coffee note. Wood sugar from a very, very heavy char barrel. Um, I still get um, a little like a blackberry thing. note through it. it. It's got a little bit of fruit sweetness up, but honestly it is more that like burnt caramel sweetness. On the nose, I'm with you on the, the on, so more on the nose than I am the, the drink, but on the nose, I'm with you on the toasted aspect to it. It smells toasted. Yeah. It does. I think it's honestly just a really heavy char or something. It might or be. like super heavily heat cycled. Or just older than the rest, honestly. Could be, Could be older than the rest. Oh my gosh. That, why does that feel so proofy? Like on my nose, that feels so proofy. Does it? Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. get the, I don't feel like. A little, a little bit of burn. Really? Me. Yeah. I get like a little bit of, man. Go on. I don't even want to say ethanol. I, I like I get a little bit of proof. Mind you, it is barrel proof at 120 and change. So it's not low. Like we treat, it's so funny. We act like 130, 120 are the biggest difference in the world. It They're is. They're both just high as hell. Yeah. You know what I mean, realistically? Um, I get a little bit of banana. Um, Tiny bit. A little bit of a, I'm talking palate right now. A little bit of banana, a mm -hmm. little bit of a blackberry, yeah. a good amount of burnt caramel that transitions into yep. almost that coffee ground, yep. chocolate, barrel char. It's good. It is aggressive it is good. though. It is good. It's very punchy. I'm a fan of this. I do love that that is very different than a lot of the previous ones we've had. Yeah, like that does feel like a step out from the profile. Yes, and I like that. Show me variation. Woodford's got a lot of whiskey, like a metric shit ton of it in theory. This just feels like Old Forester. Yeah, doesn't it? Okay, really like almost a little before tempting. you drink that grade situation on that. Um 150 should be relatively findable. Is it 150 MSRP? Um I'm gonna look it up. I, oh my gosh. They've dude. gone up. Man, they were 120 and then 130, I think. 149.99. That's 24. Oh my god. I told you. They what went up. 20? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we did double check it. Last year's uh was so 129.99. Crash my dream. And I thought I, I remembered it. At 130. Best, it is 149.99. I know so. this sounds dumb. $20 is changing my grade. It is. It should. 150 feels different than 120 or yeah. 30 or whatever. Um, I do like it more than, I think I like it more than you, but. Yeah. Okay. What was your grade on this? And then let's compare it to this for fun. Eh, B minus. I go B plus. I don't like that much. I'm comparing now, again, like we did with the sags, I'm gonna compare this to the old batch proofs. I love the differentiation there. And I do like the darker profile. Did you have my it. watered down one? Yeah, I prefer yeah. this to the watered down. Yeah, so my watered down one was way better. Way more chocolate. You prefer that. It was, yeah. it was more that. Yeah. Now do they get better or worse? In theory to the first one ever, 123.6 proof. 
I'm gonna whisper this so Dan in here. Okay, do it. Hold on, wait, watch. watch. I'll give it a full earplug. Go ahead. Worse! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Weirdly, I felt like I still heard it, which is weird because I plugged them. But I'm pretty sure you said worse. <laughs> what? I, I like the that mic. The, the nose on this is great. Oh, Very pal honey for The palette on that is wildly better. Um, ton of honey. Mm -hmm. Marshmallow, it's sweet. It's not as like the toasty, mesquite weird finish. Oh, I prefer that one. Really? Mm -hmm. What? This is far more interesting. This is this was far two, better whiskey. This is 120 and that's 150, but I would pay the 30 That's an for A that. and that's a C. I mean. Oh my gosh. Like, comment, subscribe. This wasn't a helpful video. I'm sorry it wasn't. I like this. Sean doesn't love it. It is what it is. I also lean into heavily toasted stuff. Sean leans a little away from heavily toasted stuff. This weirdly feels, and I'm you had brought that up at the very beginning, that feels toasted. It really yeah. does, truthfully. Look at how much darker that is, like realistically. Yeah, and they're pretty- Pretty close on the same path. They're pretty similar, yeah. yeah. This one actually Man. might be a little bit longer of a path, so that should look darker than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, those versus Koi Hill. Which one? Where's that? How dare you? 